What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. I want to talk about Faraday Future. I want to talk about some of the recent developments that have been coming out and nothing really is that big of a surprise, especially considering I've been saying this for the greater part of one month. Um, but again, I want to go over some of the recent developments and just what you need to know. Before I get into any of that, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So while the broader market is continuing to rally, fear and greed index is at 76. So the market does want to propel a lot of value stocks higher. Faraday and its management are just completely screwing over investors plain as day and I actually did do a video almost about one month ago I think it was on November the 27th and I said that a delisting notice is coming and I talked on various reasons why whatever blah 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 and turns out that is very very true so Faraday is on the chopping block once again despite doing a reverse stock split in August this stock is absolutely crazy so you can kind of see based on some of the recent submissions they did submit a preliminary 14a so they are going to be doing a shareholder meeting or at least planned a shareholder meeting and ultimately it is for another reverse stock split as crazy as that sounds it doesn't actually state the date I don't believe um, Faraday's always done this they just do a random little dot oddly I have no idea why but regardless it does somehow say only a one for three reverse stock split based on proposal number two which in my opinion isn't sufficient I think they're just trying to do that to be below the threshold within the Nasdaq because you can only do a one for 250 ratio within two years for them to kind of still give you the good old rubber stamp um, so once again I feel like that is kind of their mentality behind the scenes they also do want to change the authorized shares so they are completely screwing over investors all over the place and even if a Essentially, retail investors had a fair vote on what Faraday should truly do behind the scenes like they really messed things up even more because looking right here under interactive brokers it does go over the current ownership for Faraday and it shows institutions 2.73 million strategic entities 1.92 million most of those are clearly just the insiders and whatever else than other other is 51.97 million that is aka retail so retail does own the vote uh, owns kind of the float or I guess if you want to call it that way so going into this upcoming shareholder meeting Meeting, technically retail has a very good advantage but guess what Faraday kind of rubbed the loop and they are ready to screw over investors once again because if you look at this there was also a form 4 submitted on December the 27th and this form 4 does show that this individual um, I'm Matthias whatever his name is so he is a global chief executive officer he did purchase one share of the preferred a class and it does look like the preferred a class does have voting rights for 4.5 billion you are hearing that right they like this i cannot express to you on how big of a fuck up this company is my apologies on the language but I had so much hope for this company and i'm sure you can tell based on my videos i've been becoming more and more cautious and so I've been trying to portray that in a lot of my videos, such as even saying that a delisting notice is coming out. But this, this single-handed situation right here, where Matthias does have 4.5 billion for voting power, he is fucking over investors. All of these kind of proposals is going to get passed. Plain as day. Plain as day. So yes, another reverse stock split is going to happen. Uh, as crappy as that sounds, that one for three isn't going to be sufficient. So even though they do a reverse stock split, it is going to come down equally as fast. And yeah, this is just a very crappy scenario for any investors. And I have been covering Faraday for quite some time. And like I mentioned, like I did have a lot of good hope initially, but it, this isn't good and a lot of people like to say that it's shorting and whatever else I'll give you a breakdown of what shorts did for instance on Friday, which was the last trading day in 2023 
So shorts, oddly enough, did return about 1.18 thousand shares. 39.83% of the free float is being shorted. 21.87 million shares overall are being shorted. And cost of borrow average was in line with the previous day, so Thursday, 17.41%. Right now, there is zero shares available to be shorted, and that's through Interactive Brokers a short availability. So being at 39%, yeah, that's rather high. Um, is it a reason why Faraday is in the circumstance they are? Definitely not. Only because of what is happening behind the scenes with Faraday, all their warrants, the toxic insiders that they did commit in September that they're not going to be pursuing with anymore, at least looking for lending purposes or capital, like, they are the reason why Faraday is in the situation it is. But then again, has Faraday done anything to rectify that? No, they have not. So right now, this is just a very crappy scenario. They have alluded to potential lawsuits coming out against malicious acts, shorting, and whatever uh, else is in their head happening, but they haven't actually officially opened a lawsuit so faraday like as much as i really did like them like they are i don't want to say done but they are done um in all honesty like doing another reverse stock split is not going to help this scenario it's just going to kick the can down the pipeline and it's just going to be in the same circumstance it is so a lot of investors did kind of get stuck into faraday bag holding it but this scenario right here about them getting one preferred class a share that has huge immense amount of voting power this in among itself should prompt lawsuits there was another company that i was covering under my other channel Moln automotive and the shareholder meeting that happened in december this kind of scenario did happen just to push through the reverse stock split and ensure that did happen. So I believe based on earnings, like several investors did sue as a result of this situation, which is extremely shady, crappy, like this is not good. But then again, I'm not a financial advisor. You guys always do your own due diligence. These videos are strictly for entertainment purposes. Always uh, just expressing my concern. And this is a very big concern. So once again, let me know your thoughts on this upcoming shareholder meeting, I, them proposing another reverse stock split and having enough voting power, even right now, to push through that reverse stock split. And so that's a very crappy scenario. Options wise, I was kind of surprised by this. Dollar value has gone down dramatically, but 4,600 in calls being purchased on Friday. So like I said, last trading day in 2023 and 1,100 in puts. But sentiment wise, 48% of all the options being done on Friday was bearish. I would have anticipated that to be closer to 80 to 90%. And of the call options that are being purchased, it is anticipated for it to be over 50 cents by January the 12th. As far as I'm aware, there's no correlation to any date or any anticipated catalyst coming out at that time. So that just might be shorts hedging their bets as well. Looking at puts, very little and obviously with it being below 50 cents and at the current stock price there's no point in buying any puts right now not until they do a reverse stock split and then that is where you might be able to buy a lot of puts and kind of take advantage of the downtrend looking at some support and resistance points with it at 2309 down 10.88 percent on friday it was a very good way to end the year uh, obviously being sarcastic but it is trading between this s3 and this s2 so around 19 15 cents is the strong support next strong support and that would result in a new 52 week and all-time low being created 24.5 is going to be that next strong resistance but regardless i do feel that there is going to be a continuation of a downtrend and it'll probably land anywhere from around maybe 10 to 12 cents while that reverse stock split is kicked off so meaning that whole one for three would not do anything whatsoever let me know your thoughts on faraday have you been brave enough to actually buy it if not or have you been brave enough to hold it during this whole downtrend like what have you been doing with faraday do you still believe in it what's your viewpoint don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that one final thing though i wanted to share with you take advantage of this promo with mumu sign up for an account with mumu throw hundred dollars at it and you get five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars so take advantage of this link in the description below and also the comments with all that said i appreciate all of you watching